Hey everybody, I hope this video finds you well. You know, uh, probably like everybody else here, it's been a very, very, to say the least, crazy couple of weeks here. And what I want to share with you is uh, just a combination of all the conversations that I've had with friends, family, and of course, uh, a ton of clients here. You know, I'm finding that when I'm speaking to everybody, they tend to fall into two categories here. Of course, the most important thing is we start out with how's the family, how's your health, uh, we all have maybe a, a family out of state or we can't see or elderly parents. Luckily, everybody's doing fine and we discuss those concerns they may have. The second group I'm seeing is we speak about their family right off the bat. Everybody's fine and it lasts about this long. Then the common conversation goes directly into their finances. Um, for instance, I have a lot of friends and family, small business owner, great salespeople, high income people that have worked very hard to get where they are and they're quickly have a tremendous amount of fear and anxiety that it's it's falling apart very quickly. Uh, an example, I'll give you a young man, you know, let's call him Chris, 39 years old, uh, married, has three little boys, five, three and one. And I sold him home a couple years ago. Life's great. Man works very, very hard. Uh, he went in just 40 days from doing very well to you're going to have to work at home. A couple days later, we're closing some divisions, but not yours. And then he got the call where we lost some capital and we might have to close yours. You could imagine what he's feeling. And then uh, in speaking with him, it was very, it was almost very painful to hear the pain in his voice or his concern. Um, I didn't want to share with him the platitudes we hear, even though they're true. This will pass. It's temporary. Because I, in th in th three times in my 31 year career here, I've been where he is. And the very first time I gave him advice, the very first time, I just powered it out. A lot of people wanted to help me, uh, give me advice, a lot more wisdom than I have. But you know what? I'm going to do this on my own. I didn't take it. That was immaturity, insecurities, ego. We all have a healthy ego when we're doing well. Uh, got through it financially. Years later, I ran into it again. And the same scenario, embarrassingly enough, I didn't accept it. But about 11 years ago, when I went through it for the third time, maybe because I was beaten up, scarred and bruised, I accepted, uh, surrendered to the people that wanted to help me, that loved me, that cared about me. And oh my goodness, the, the peace, comfort, the wisdom, the love, the, all the things that seemed so obvious, but I wasn't ready to hear it. And for me, it was the most beautiful thing. Not because I got back on my feet and financially was doing great. That was pale in comparison to the fact that it opened my eyes that I wasn't serving, I wasn't helping, I wasn't giving. So it really changed uh, me, it changed me uh, and how I do my business and it just had a tremendous impact. So I shared with him that the only advice I give you that if you have anybody, which I have a feeling I know him already, that they're going to reach out. You have people that love you. They're going to want to share some ideas or maybe just listen like I am. I, I beg you to accept it because there's so many of us uh, that are surrounded by people who want to help. So anyway, I told him, I myself, if you want to share some ideas, please feel free to call me anytime here. So uh, he said, okay. And I was very thankful that a couple days later, I got a text that six in the morning say hey joe you think we could chat and that that was beautiful here so beautiful so again i just want to leave you uh depending what camp you're in what stage you're in how you're being affected we're all being affected differently here um i just could only say i i pray that your family's doing well and continues to have good health and you yourself and again be sure to reach out to others if you think they need some help and again in this case here if someone's reaching out to you and want to help you just, just accept it here. So, okay. Until next time, until we talk, uh, God bless everybody.